All right, what's up guys? I know it's been a minute, quite some time, but I've been busy as you guys can see where I'm standing here in Los Angeles. Um, yeah, if you guys can already tell, I bought a home. I purchased my first, my first house ever. Probably won't be the last, I hope it's not the last. I've been spending the last like three, four days here and I've been having so much fun. Literally by myself, like just having so much fun. The dogs are inside playing. So I figured, you know, I owe you guys a, uh, a thank you. Well, one, that's one thing I owe you because you guys support me. Um, even if you're just watching this video to, to shit on me, whatever it may be, I appreciate it. But thank you for everyone who supported me th thus far and continue to support me because I do have a mortgage that I need to pay. So it would mean a lot if you guys continued. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll show you guys around. I, uh, I owe you guys a uh, little tour, a little tour of the crib that you guys are going to be seeing much more of for the next 10 years. Who knows how much longer I'm going to be doing this shit. As you guys can see, um, it's a fucking beautiful home built by the Toll Brothers themselves. The brothers themselves built this. Okay, stick along. Maybe we'll talk about the price. Who knows? I know people have been dying. They've been asking me. Some people even just were smart enough to just look up uh, who the house was built by and then figure out, you know, how much how much it was range. But stick around. Maybe you'll find out. As you can see, already working on the uh, front and back front and back yard uh, landscaping just because. I didn't even, I haven't even put a single piece of furniture in this place yet because I was like, I need this backyard done ASAP because one, it's always sunny here. So like I need, I want need to go swimming, get a tan on, but also the dogs, it's dirt. Like see this, it's dirt. They track in all this dust and they're eating rocks and shit. So I need turf, I need my backyard done. So I'm putting all my money into the backyard. That's why you see some of this stuff. Dude, it's so nice living in a house again. I'm not gonna lie guys, I, I took it for granted. You know, we had one in Houston, we lived in one, and it's just so nice to be able to have your packages in the front. That's one thing that you kind of don't really think about when you're in an apartment. Um, and also just having a garage. Wipe the dust off. All right, so 3,800 square feet, five bedroom, four and a half bath. First bedroom is right when you walk in on the first floor. So this is going to be Madrid's home. Well, we don't know yet because he's got to decide if he wants the upstairs. We'll, we'll, we'll let you guys decide. We'll let you guys decide the fate for- uh, Which one they like more? So, as you guys see, we got a little bed, rug action, bedroom, and they were supposed to come repaint that shit. Idiots, bro. Then you come over here. Um, he's got his own bathroom with a glass shower door, um, which you've never had, right? I have one right now, no? Oh yeah. But like, yeah. At a house? No, yeah. I've never had. Shower door is something where like, I've always had a shower door growing up. Like my dad would always, um, cause he was like a big shower door fan. He would always change out the curtains and put in a door however he could. I love shower doors, so it's a nice luxury to have. And then you've got a little living space area, a um, little couch, TV, and then I'm thinking about putting up. Cause this is for like the in-law, right? This is for your mom's, your girlfriend's mom's place, right? So put like a, uh, a little marble countertop, some cabinets under, maybe a microwave, you know, just a coffee machine, just so him, he can put some shit here. Like a little kitchen, you know? All right, next up, uh, when you walk across the hallway, you come in here, this is where the garage the garage is, which, let's see what's going on here. It's really messy because I don't have my trash bins yet. Um, they're coming next week, and so my garage is just a huge trash can. But it's a three car garage, it's a, it's a tandem, so it goes one deep over there. Ideally, I wanna put the golf simulator right over there. That way you can pull out the cars, um, and then we can just play a little golf over there. So I'm play, play 18 in two hours, because it's a simulator. My car, Madrid's car, and then the Porsche will go in the back. I'm dying to get the car back, by the way. Where the, where's the Porsche you're asking? It's a good question. Thing is, I had to move some finances around because of this whole thing. So I was like, you know what? I could hold off on the Porsche a little bit. This is more important to me. I had to delay it a little bit. It looks great right now though. I could show you guys a picture, but I don't want to because I want you guys to see it for its true self. So it's got a wrap, uh, exhaust. Yeah, so moving on. So out of the garage door, um, you have main floor bathroom. So this is just like your normal standard bathroom, no shower. And then we have a powder room in here, which right now I kind of have set up as this like, I put these mirrors here, I don't really know, but I'm gonna do a bench with mirrors and a coat rack so you can like put your shoes on. This is gonna be gone. The whole thing is gonna be like a bench with, with cabinets and shit and little boxes where you can put your shoes in. And then maybe like a mirror right here so you can take, I can take fit pics. Um, and he was saying he would put like, some texture here, like some leaves or LED light, just to make it look sick. Uh, we'll see. 
Yeah, so as you guys see, this house is, like the house is great. It, it's big, it's just, it's blank. You know, there's all these walls and spots where I need to, I'm gonna have to figure out how to fill them, you know? Which I might not be the best for that. So come in, take a right, and you got our pantry, which reminds me of our Texas pantry. It literally looks the exact same with like this, which actually I think our Texas house that we rented was a Toll Brothers house. Cause looking at this and then looking at that one, I think it's pretty similar. Pantry, um, pretty good size. Well, way bigger than 90 cause I don't have much food. And then we've got probably the, the coolest thing about the house I would say is this huge slab of whatever it is, limestone, I don't know. But yeah, this is really sick cause it's like super big. Massive, I know, I mean, I won't be using the kitchen much because I just, I don't cook more than like chicken and beef, but I know when I'm selling the house, this is gonna be like the main thing. Like you got this stove, excuse the mess, but oh, I just got a cast iron. So you've got these like industrial grade stove um, things here. Oven, two ovens, got like a warming light for your food. People thought I was joking, but it literally, if you put your hand under, it's hot. Like crazy fan, got the lights. So, shit's legit. And then you got all the cabinets and stuff, um, which I will never fill. Just well, I might eventually. I guess enough gorilla subs will do. And yeah, nice, nice fridge. You guys already know. Oh, the weird thing is, is this microwave. Well, it's broken, so the builders have to come by and fix it. But I'm interested to see how this works because it looks pretty interesting. It looks very futuristic. And then we've got my living room right here. Yeah, not much to say really. Got this fireplace, I can turn it on, but it takes like two minutes to start up, but it's a remote, which is really nice. Um, the colors change on the rocks, but I'm planning on doing big paintings right there, like big canvas paintings uh, to fill up that spot. And then I'm gonna put some texture up here. Not really sure what just yet, but I'm gonna hang up the TV. Probably gonna have to get a bigger TV just cause, I mean, that's what, 75 inches? And it's still like, not big enough, to be honest. So um, I'll just put that up in my bedroom. But yeah, uh, all this furniture is gonna end up move upstairs. But um, as you guys see the boxes outside, I have four bar stools that just arrived. Um, my living room, coffee table is coming tomorrow. And then my couch and stuff should be coming within the next couple of weeks. Uh, this is gonna be my dining room table. It, it actually comes today. My dining room table comes um, in a couple of hours. So they're gonna come bring it in. It's really nice, it's super pretty, and it like matches the vibe perfectly. Um, my parents helped me pick it out, but that's gonna go right here, this way. But yeah, also we got a little cubby area for the dogs, so you guys can see. And it, and it wraps all the way around, so under the stairwell. And then Milo can, you know, it's uh, pretty cool. It's like perfect. They love it. Like, they're already like playing in it and shit. Come up these. Oh, they must have fixed it. What happened? Dude, they must have fixed this shit when I wasn't here. That's crazy. Half of these screws right here were silver. So I was like, bro, this shit's not matching. So I, they had to come, like, I guess they came within the last couple of days, they fixed it all. But yeah, it's all this little shit that you kind of figure out like. You don't notice until you're actually moved in. Yeah, and then also like, you're paying all this money and they can't fucking make the, the screws the same color. And there's like shit in my bathroom that's a little bit loose. Like, yeah, it's not a big deal. I can just tighten it, but it's like, bro, how do y'all not do this shit? Um, all right, anyways, so this is gonna be like the gaming room, gaming area. So my living room currently is just gonna be moved up here and uh, I'm gonna set up my PS. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put a TV up right here. It's gonna be, it'll probably never be used. Yeah, I'll use it. Yeah, it'll be cool. Like we'll have the simulator, the racing simulator just for like shits and giggles, like forever drunk or whatever and come up here, play some, some PS, whatever it may be. So yeah, you can see all the like historic, I don't know. Just like old shit that I used to have, so. This is gonna be the guest bedroom. Currently, don't have anything except my old mattress that I just moved in here today, which is a queen. And you have a nice view of the street, which is really nice. Out of the three guest rooms that we have, I think this is like the best one, and that's why I chose it. Cause like when, my, when people are staying and they're my friends, I want them to be able to, you know, I want them to have a good, a good room, right? So you got your own closet and then a bathroom as well. No glass door, just shower curtain that I need to buy. There's still more. So coming here, this is the the laundry room, which I'm really excited that the fact that it's upstairs, it's a huge dub. Well, not for you. No. You're gonna have to move, but it's a huge dub for me because I don't know. You just, going upstairs and downstairs was, was ass. Here it is. 
I don't even have it yet. They were supposed to install it. It's actually sitting in my garage. They were supposed to install it, but some shit happened. I don't really know. Have this. I already know, like, just by the looks of this, this is going to be a bunch of shit that I'd never use and touch. Then up here, we've got the Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill bedroom. Also, all my young LA bags for some reason. I just figured this was a good spot. But yeah, so these are connected through here. So you have this closet right here. And then you have a double bathroom for two kids, you know, like for your kids. Right here, nice shitter. Good looking bathroom, to be honest. And then it comes over here. So Madrid is debating, okay, he wants to either take the downstairs one or take these. Um, and I told him it's his pick. Honestly, if it were up to me, like if I had unlimited money, which I don't know how much this would cost, but break down this wall, like pretty much connect it. Just make this one big master and then you can, you can, we can change this up because yeah, it'd be expensive, but like, it's not that hard, but you'd have a nice, like sick master sink and then you can put like a shower door and shit. So that's an option because you do, and you have a walk-in closet here. So you have like way more closet space than downstairs. So that's, you know, it's up to you. We'll see. And you don't mind the carpet. Yeah. The guest rooms and this ones are the only ones that have carpet in the whole house, so. And then we got the master. So this is the master bedroom where the magic happens. Um, I just got this mattress literally 15 minutes ago. Before he walked in, I was setting it up, so. That's a California King, by the way. I always thought California King was like this huge, honestly, I was imagining it being like an Alaskan bed, but that's a, Cal that's a California King. I guess really it's about the same width, as a, it's a little bit wider than a queen, a little bit less wide than a king, but it's longer, so. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I thought California King was like Bro, I crazy. That, dude, I thought that shit was crazy, but it's really not. Yeah. All right, anyways. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping, but like, I've ordered California King and I checked the receipt. I even was skeptical, I checked the receipt. Honestly, I don't care too much about my bedroom. I'd rather put the money into like the backyard or downstairs because it's only really me that it's gonna see this, so. But I do need a bigger TV, cause that shit, it, it's like, this is way too far. So, or I need like a couch here or something, I don't know. Oh, ba uh, the bathroom, look, shout out Ariel uh, for doing this. Yo, if you guys wanna support me, if you guys wanna support me and help me build a golf simulator, or just help me in general, like I, like, I would appreciate it. All my money, I'm done, I'm done with the cars. I've had so much joy the last couple of days, man, I'm done with the cars. Well, I say that now, but. I feel like your house, there's all, there always could be a project that can take up my time and my money. And it's like you're investing into the house, so you're increasing the value. When you put mods on a car, you're decreasing the value. But every time you do something, it's gonna increase the value here, so. Come over here, I have a bed frame coming, don't worry guys. Master ba uh, bathroom, which is insane. I love this bathroom. Um, reminds me a lot of the, the, the Texas house. So I have two closets, um, one over here, which is gonna be like, my normal clothes, and then this one over here, which I have saved for Black Friday because it is obviously the bigger one. And all that, all those hangers is for Black Friday, so, which is coming up very soon. A little shitter. Yeah, I really like these. Like, I love this countertop. I don't know what you call it, but it's really nice. Shower's huge. One thing I don't like is the shower head. I wish that it was like, I mean, the shower's so big, you could have like five different heads and like, no homo. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I like this. This is a nice touch by the guy, by the builder. Right here we've got a full sliding door, which is cool, I guess. I guess it's like a huge upgrade, but in my opinion, it's not, not that sick. Because like, when are you ever going to do this? But yeah. I don't know. This is kind of sick. Dude. I know. No, it's really yeah. cool. But like, I've only done this for the video. Yeah. And when I, and when I first moved in, I, I haven't done it yet. Yeah. But yeah, it is cool. You have this... Like, it's huge. Um, yeah, the balcony's huge. I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet. Probably a couch and like, maybe a couch and then like a table and chairs. Like make it like a fucking living room and then smoke, hookah, whatever. Maybe even a little TV out here. Back here, which is what I am most excited for, um, the backyard. We have this pool. You can see how there's two lines or how we extended it two feet. So they came in here this morning and I was like, ah, it's, it's a little bit too small, which it's not, but it, it's too small for the backyard. I wanted it to be come closer to the house, so they extended it two more feet. So it's 32 feet long and then 16 feet wide, um, which I think will be plenty for people who want to swim or do whatever they want. Far left is gonna be the jacuzzi, and then it's gonna be one foot deep for about eight feet, 
where you can put like chairs and shit and like you you know the chairs that are halfway in the water so you can sit there sunbathe do whatever you want and then it's going to drop off to four feet and then it's going to uh, gradually decrease to, to seven feet hopefully if we can get clear for it usually they only do six feet but we'll see so 32 feet to work with which i think is plenty of space and then in the corners of the backyard there's going to be palm trees and then trees going in the back this area right here right in front of the pool between the house it's going to be a nice non-slip tile um, so it's not going to be concrete it's going to be like this really nice gray tile um, and then along the house there's going to be plants and then on the far side of the house you've got like eight feet of runway where the dogs are going to be able to run because i'm putting turf there and then on this side of the house there's a lot smaller space and that's going to be chemical turf for them to piss and shit and i'm gonna have to pick that up but i want them to learn it learn to pee and poo over there so that way they don't pee anywhere else um and then where the truck is is it's going to be a sunken in fireplace and on the deepest end of the pool it's going to be integrated into it so when you're sitting in the fireplace you're going to be eye level with the pool which is pretty cool so and then right here on this L, we have what's gonna be a grill, a sink, fridge, and it's gonna be uh, bar height, so you can put chairs on the outside. So that'll be just like a nice extension of the porch where you can chill, eat food, drink beer, do whatever you want. Uh, so yeah, I'm super excited. I know you guys can probably already tell. Um, this is like a whole new thing for me. I actually do feel, I feel like I'm in charge, which is cool because I've never actually had the ability to like do whatever I want. Like, Literally be like, yo, I want this shit like this. Um, so it feels really cool. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I do appreciate you guys because I know every time this big purchase, I'm like, yo, can't do this shit without you. But it's actually true. Um, a lot of people on Snapchat were like, bro, where is this bread coming from? It's literally from you guys using my code. So I was literally, I'm able to set up, set myself up for the future with, with something that's not gonna depreciate like my usual purchases. Um, because of you guys so I really do appreciate that I try to give back as much as I can and if there's any way and if there's any more way that I can please let me know and I would totally be down to do it all right if you guys are wondering um, how much this house actually costs obviously I made a loan I got a 7.25 percent interest rate which is absolutely terrible They're, you're probably like bro why the did you buy a house with 7.25 percent that's because the market is so shit right now because of the rates the house price I actually got a pretty good deal on it and once you know, maybe after the election, rates drop, I can refinance, and then all the prices of the houses explode. I'm hoping I'm out of here in three, four years and I make, I can make $3 million on this house, to be honest with you guys, so. The house is less than that, it's less than three mil, but it definitely is up there. I would say it's in between the ranges of, it's more than one, five, and it's less than two and a half. Uh, but I did, get a, I did get a deal on it, believe it or not. But uh, with this area, the surrounding area, if you guys are familiar with the valley, we're looking totally, double it within five years, which would be insane. This is a this is a shoes off household because I've always been shoes on in the apartment and my dad was like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, you're right. Because I was raised Asian, so we never did that shit. All right, imagine me right here, grilling. There's a little fridge, I'm serving a beer. You're sitting on this side, right? Yeah, making parlays. Yeah. We're gonna have a TV right here. And it's gonna have the, the mount where you can swing it out. So I guess you'd only really be able to see it from this seat, which might be stupid. So this is where they're gonna pee and poo in this corner. So it'll all be turf over there. And yeah, so this pool is pretty big. I don't think it was big enough before we extended it, but now I think it's good. Because look, this is like, and then boom, one foot deep right here. And then you can like, Put the chairs here, you can lay out, whatever. Jacuzzi, right here. And then this is the strip I was talking about. Look at that. Imagine the ball. Really, really excited. This is my favorite part of the house, the backyard. Well, the favorite part about the lot, I would say, is the backyard. I don't really know what's supposed to go. I think it's gonna be like tile and turf, and then there's gonna be trees and shit back here, but it kinda seems like it's unnecessary. There's a lot of space back here. They are gonna start excavation excavation tomorrow. So they're gonna start taking dirt out. I told them I was like, I need this backyard done very fast, pronto. And he was like, all right, man. So they're starting tomorrow. Shout out to you guys. Actually, let's finish off the video with tasting that Gorilla drink. Cause what better way to end this video than drink some Gorilla. All right, new Gorilla drink just dropped. I don't know, I don't know if I can show you guys the flavor, so I'm not going to just because they've already, I'm already on thin ice. 
with leaking shit with, for them, so I want I want to respect. Here's the flavor, or here's the can. You can't see the flavor though. It's got this orange yellow movement to it. I heard this was ass though. Ariel said shit was trash. She overreacted. She you try? Like, she was like, that shit tastes like a truly. It does, I mean, it tastes like a truly, but that's not a bad thing. All right, so most of these flavors are in, ooh, there's a, most of these flavors are in Vitamin Shop, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the yellow one's a Vitamin Shop exclusive. So you can only get that shit in Vitamin Shop. So you guys can't support me on that. Maybe if you wanna buy some protein or some shit, you guys can just like use my code that way. I don't know, anything works, anything helps. Um, insane flavors coming to you guys pretty soon. Make sure to drink some water. But yeah, that's gonna end the video off. Um, I gotta build these chairs, um, and I gotta figure out what to do with these current chairs. Thank you for watching. Once again, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you didn't get clickbaited too hard in this video, but I did give you guys the price, so you guys can't fucking, you guys can't say I didn't tell you shit. Gonna make some dope memories. We have a Halloween party coming up pretty soon. You guys can go on Ariel's channel to watch that shit because she's gonna do a little video. But oh, she is. Yeah, she's gonna do like a. She's gonna. We're gonna decorate the house, and then she's gonna film a little bit of the the party. Peace. Thanks for watching. Everyone, say goodbye to Tequila. Tequila, come here. Yay. And then Milo too. Peace.